Good day and thanks for tuning in. My name is Mike Cluett, Regional Counselor for Ward 3 in the town of Milton. You're watching Local Matters on your TV halt and truly local television. And I am here once again with the bright-eyed, bushy-tailed co-host with the most, and that ain't no boast, from Wards 1 and 2, Regional Counselor Clark Somerville. Well, good morning, Mike, or good afternoon, or good evening, or good night, depending <laughs> on what time you might be might be watching. It's great to be here, Mike, and I realize I forgot my regular glasses, so if my eyes look extra blue, it's because I'm wearing those non-glare ones, so I'll try to keep my head down a bit so it's not distracting to anyone. Well, I can just tell people that I, my co-host today is Bubbles from the Trailer Park Boys, if you want to keep that up. Okay. <laughs> Have you seen the kitties? Have you seen the kitties? No, but we've seen snow. This is one of the things that I, I think we predicted correctly we did we we did mention it a couple episodes ago about snow in april so i'm going to make another bold prediction right now i am going to win the lottery in the next few weeks so since we can we'll we'll, we'll see if that happens absolutely i think that'd be a great idea let's go as... and and we'll be bold and uh then you'll be able to come and visit me at my island in an un undisclosed location in the caymans oh. I just blew it where I said where I was going to be. But anyways, Mike, it's great to be back. We were off yeah. last week. Yeah, we because, were. Because uh, with uh, Easter break, you were at a, uh, attending uh, the Ontario Good Roads Conference, which is a tremendous conference. It's it was. There was so uh, it really uh, one of those things that gives you a perspective as, uh, you know, Milton as a community is, is kind of, like I said, on that cusp where, you know, we're a growing urban area, but we still have a rural area. Uh, for, for roads mm -hmm. and, and, and we're obviously very close in proximity with yourself in Halton Hills and talking to the councillors uh, from, from very small communities, uh, just hearing of the importance of yeah. uh, making sure that there's proper funding from all levels of government for That's infrastructure. Right. Uh, you know, a road goes, cl closes in an urban area, there's 20 different detours. A road closes in a rural area, then you have issues. And, you know, and it's surprising about that as well. And Brian Lewis, Councillor Brian Lewis yes. from Halton Hills, is the second vice president of mm -hmm. the Ontario Good Roads and has been on the board there now for probably about, oh, probably close to 10 years and uh, is a great advocate for us as well. But, you know, it's nice to be back. I was down, had the opportunity to visit family for Easter, so it was nice to to uh, be able to go and see family. And I thought I'd wear bright colors today. Well, I know, and I should have thought of the blue behind me so I don't look <laughs> like this giant floating head. But uh, I thought, you know, because I always approach it that when we, when we tape, it's like we're sitting and having a conversation on the couch. We are. And that's actually what it is. So if I was at home, I'd be wearing a shirt like this. So that's why I do that. So I'll try not to show up next week in my sweatpants with my fuzzy slippers and a bathrobe, but I'll try not to do that. Yeah, there's that, no guarantee. Th there's no casual day there's no for casual. local matters. There's no local matters casual day. But no. anyways, Mike, there's lots of stuff going on. We better get right at We better get adder and tour and tour and adder because we don't get tour. We can't get adder to get tour again. It is April, as it we know. April. April is quickly ending, and uh, April is Earth Month. Yes. And uh, we're approaching Earth Day uh, later on this week uh, or next week. No, it's this week. It's, it's is it this the week? 22nd is Earth Day. The 22nd is Earth yes. Day. Yes my calendar here it works out really well and there's been a number of events that have happened uh, over mm -hmm. North Halton for community cleanups because when this uh, when the snow thaws and uh, we, we get to see what's kind of left behind by people uh, on the sides of the roads sustainable Milton teamed up with uh, the town of Milton this past weekend and did a community cleanup it was over at the Milton Sports Center uh, I think there was over 50 days. 50, 60 people that came oh, out. wonderful, wonderful. Uh, collected some bags and, and gloves and went all around the community and and uh, just the, the amount of uh, waste that was picked up from the sides of the roads uh, in, in stormwater ponds uh, in, in, in our community parks. It was uh, it was just shocking to see. It always is. It, it is amazing how much stuff is picked up. And I remember being out and doing it in the Hornby area and, uh, and finding like a, a bumper like you don't just lose a bumper, <laughs> um, spare tires, like you know, people, like come on. The waste management site is not far away. Go down there, drop it off. So I'll start this um, Friday and this weekend in Halton Hills, we do what we call the 22 minute makeover. And it's in celebration of Earth Day being on the 22nd. Mm -hmm. So the 22 minute makeover is get out of your house, go outside, clean up an area. It could be on your own yard. It could be right around in, in town. There's an area that I always do 
um, not far from my home. And uh, then you just send an email in to cleanup at haltonhills.ca as to where you did the um, cleanup area and if you need to have litter bags picked up. So it's a really great way to be able to do that. And uh, it, you know, like I said, that's this Friday is a 22 minute makeover. But if you do it Saturday or Sunday or Thursday or Wednesday, every little bit helps. I know you may not want to today as the snow is melting, but it's supposed to get warmer tomorrow. And I'll be out on Thursday or Friday and doing cleanup in about a half dozen locations that I have always done. So that's that little one is remember the 22 minute makeover and clean up at haltonhills.ca. And the uh, Campbellville Community Association uh, does an annual roadside cleanup of our rural roads. And if you go to the Campbellville Community uh, Facebook page, there's already pictures of people who are taking part in and helping out uh, clean up. Uh, and I, I think they, I don't know if there's been a bumper, but I was looking at some of the pictures and, and uh, there's some very unique items it's that surprising. are found on the side of the road. And a lot of them are coffee cups, plastic yes. bags, household waste that people yeah. just decide to drive down the road uh, and, and dump on the side of the road. And, and we all know in the rural area and even in the urban areas, coyotes, raccoons, and, and all kinds of other vermin get into these bags, rip them apart, and it just kind of defeats the purpose. And uh, this has been going on for many years with the Campbellville Community Association, doing these roadside cleanups, the, the difference that they make it's in huge. the beauty it's huge. It's huge. Uh, of, our, of our rural roads it's is huge. just simply outstanding. So hats off to the uh, Campbellville Community Association for their continued efforts to clean up um, the roads uh, you know, during Earth Day. And I know that the municipalities, we do our best uh, with our staff to, to keep things cleaned up, but uh, roadside dumping does happen. Call 311 uh, and, and get that. And, and if you are one of those people, I don't think Stop. viewers of yeah. Look, I don't think would our do viewers that. would be, but if, if you you're somebody. one of those who feels the need to drive down a country road and throw garbage out of it, please stop it. Like, you know what? You are, you are costing yourself money because tax dollars goes mm -hmm. in to picking up and disposing of that waste. I'm going to take these off because I can try to read without them because it is. There you go. He's in his own booth. I'm in my own booth. There you but, go. Uh, no, but please stop it and uh, be able, you know, just take it to the waste management site. Can I do uh, plug another event while I'm talking about the waste management site? Absolutely. Back this time for the first time since 2019 is the compost giveaway, which starts May 9th to May 15th. Lots of time. But we just wanted to let people know. And uh, it'll also be held in the fall as well. And that's being located at the Halton Waste Management site at 5400 Regional Road 25 in the city of Melton. I only say that to get his reaction. During yeah. regular site pickup hours, and you can get rich, garden-friendly compost produced by all those leaf bags and things that we have put out in, the, uh, in our local communities. So it's Monday, May 9th to Sunday, May 15th is when it will be. And remember, you have to bring your own shovel, you have to bring your own bags, and it's up to seven bags mm -hmm. you can take with you. And look for me there, because I will be down there to get my compost, and I am looking forward to it, because you know me, I'm a gardener. Loves his garden, and he grows fresh vegetables and fruits and everything else on your property to go towards your um, barbecue sauce. My barbecue sauce. And, yes. and my, uh, my salsa verde with uh, tom tomatillos. And mm -hmm. I already have them started. I got my, all my little tomato plants started. They haven't poked their little heads out yet, but probably because they saw the snow. They, sound, they found the snow, that's for sure. And uh, as a member uh, of Regional Council, I sit on the Waste Management Site uh, Advisory Committee. So uh, as Clark mentioned, the, the composting that's, that's going to be made available uh, is compost that is brought in from the leaf, uh, the yard waste uh, from residents. So you're, if you put out a yard waste bag, you're helping uh, produce uh, high quality compost. And uh, I, I strongly urge and, and recommend people to take a tour of if the waste can, management yes, site. Absolutely, yes. uh, They'll show you in detail how the, the, the process from yard waste, having it decomposed, to, to, to moving it around, to letting it go, and it just, it's this continuous process uh, that just t turns yard waste into something that helps our, our gardens grow and our, and our lawns grow. So it's, uh, it's a great um, 
a facility tour to go on halton.ca slash waste. You can get in contact with them to find out when there's going to be tours available. Or contact us and we oh, could, absolutely. You know, we would, we'd be glad to. Uh, be more than happy to yeah. take them. I, I love the tour. You get to see the different yep. areas where the landfill is, where the recycling goes, what happens to everything. Uh, the, the bins where if you're dropping off old bikes, hockey sticks, clothes, paint, anything that can be uh, reused, you can send down to the, uh, the waste management site and we will find a purpose for it. Now, if you have bikes, Halton Hills is doing a bike swap this year. So if you have bikes that are in pretty good condition where, you, say, your kids have outgrown them or you're not cycling them, you can bring them to the works yard on um, April 30th will be the bike swap so people can take them in there before that. And it's great to do that because, you know what, if you take something like that, you don't want to see it end up in landfill. You know, you want to see it if it's a bike, especially, you know, that people get more usage out of that as well. So, you know, it, it is be able to do that. Visit haltonhills.ca slash earthweek and you can find out more about some of these other events that we have going on because there's a lot of events. You know what, Mike, now that we're, we are emerging and yes, COVID is still out there, people still mask up and everything as well, but the number of events that have suddenly, I don't know about you, but my social calendars started filling up pretty pretty quick my dance card is getting full it and absolutely but i is. love it it's so nice getting out we had the easter teas and the bazaars and the all those things are coming back it's so nice to see we had the uh, opportunity uh, to attend a couple of iftar dinners recently mm -hmm. uh, helping uh, to ce celebrate ramadan uh, the milton muslim mums association had one over at the milton uh, seniors activity center which was absolutely fantastic everybody was had a, uh, a great time, and we got a chance to listen to some of our faith leaders in our community, uh, from uh, the Jewish community, from the Christian community, and the Muslims as well, to to learn so much about the fact that there's so much that unites yeah, us. There is. When people think of religious differences, they think of you know the, the, of extremes, but there's so much more from yeah. a religious aspect uh, that that unites us, and it, it's really. Great to see this month of April, uh, the Hindu community was celebrated Holi, uh, the Sikh community uh, celebrated Vaisakhi, Ramadan is going on from April 2nd to May 2nd, and Easter. Yep. So we've had Good Friday it's and, and so Easter good. Sunday. It's so great to see. Everything was coming together, and, yep. and, and uh, like I said, at these events, it's great to see the faith communities getting together and learning about uh, each other's uh, lifestyle, and, and, and there's just so much... There's so much in common. Well, my um, Easter weekend, we had people there who were, you know, who were Christian, Episcopalian, you know, as they in the U.S. and Baptist, as well as someone who was there as Buddhist, and we also had uh, someone who was Jewish, and it was Passover. So we had, we had all that just around our, around our uh, table for Easter, which was very fascinating, you know, mm -hmm. and being able to understand each each one of those. I have a. We're gonna have a good little quick break, so. I was going to say, I have a premonition. Mike is going to say, Local Matters will be right back after this quick inter intermission, and we will have Local Matters recommend. We will have all that and lots of fun activities, as he mentioned, uh, that are coming up uh, here in North Halton. So stay tuned to Local Matters on your TV.